Everybody wants the hack. Yeah, everybody wants the hack. There, there right. is no hack, man. There's no hack. What do you think is the biggest stumbling block that most people face with this kind of journey? Honestly, is they have the woe is me mentality. It's too hard. Life isn't fair. These things in life are, are, are not easy for me. You, you, you look to your left and you look to your right and you start to judge yourself off other people. Like if you're a female, well, she's skinny and she doesn't work out as hard as I do. And everything starts to corrupt your mind. You start to look around too much at other people and what they're doing. And that starts to corrupt your own dialogue. We are judging ourselves against too many fucking people. You have to judge yourself against yourself. And that's the one thing I started learning, man. This isn't a race against me and Rich Roll. This is a race against David Goggins and David Goggins alone. And once you can silence all that bullshit, all the outside interference and things that are attracting your mind to everything, you can then start to grow in realizing I'm stressed out for no reason. This is my own little race. This is my own timeline. And this is how I'm going to run it. Miserable. It is miserable. I mean, to get up every day or five days a week, whatever, when it's snowing, shiny, not not shiny, not not, not comfortable, and to go into the gym and work out when you don't want to go to the gym, it is not fun. Well, and we're in a culture that that is driving everybody towards this idea that happiness is purchased through luxury, comfort, and ease. A hundred percent. The truth could not be, you know more different from that reality that if you want to find peace with yourself self-understanding self-knowledge uh self-esteem all of these things are going to be found only through sacrifice getting uncomfortable uh reevaluating what your normal is and and putting yourself in situations that you don't want to fucking do yes and we want it very fast if you don't see results in the first two days or the first week i'm done that's the mentality of most people. The struggle is too real. We're not patient. We Like in a world where you can Google the best restaurants around me right now, no one is patient. And for you to lose weight, for you to stop drinking, if you, whatever the hell you're going through, it takes a lot of patience, a lot of time, and a lot of pitfalls, a lot of plateaus. You're gonna hit so many fucking plateaus. If you don't know how to get around that plateau, it's not gonna happen fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, started working out for me. No, I went like it was a it was a fix it all. No, it was just a, it was a starting point to start holding myself accountable. And how that came to be, man, my mom got a letter from school, and this is when I had to reveal myself and all my secrets. It, the the secret came out, man, that I wasn't going to school, that I had I had flunked mm -hmm. most of my classes. I had my report card in there for everybody to see, one of them, and um, it was revealed. Yeah, it was it was it was a nice report card. Thanks a lot, Rich. I yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, you it was, put it you put it in there. I man. put it in there, man. You have to talk about yeah. it right now. Um, it was uh, it was a, yes, a very a very embarrassing report card, and she was like, "What is this?" And this was like she didn't see any report cards in my life and at this time she was frustrated not with me well you but doctored life. that other report I, card right i doctored so much crap but she didn't really see that one uh -huh. but i doctored all my report cards and um this one had to reveal myself and she was like you know what man you're you're gonna flunk out and that was that was the conversation i'm like hey we gotta do something you know you gotta fail she had her own demons her own problems and that's when i went to the into the bathroom and I was like my god dude like mm -hmm. this is a harsh reality your mom is like you're done mm -hmm. and I'm like you are on your own